Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about all of the different failed Wizards of the Coast card games. Now, I'm not doing this to particularly pick on Wizards of the Coast. I just think it's funny when everybody talks about how great Wizards of the Coast is, and then if you look online, you can see a wide variety of games that they've made that have failed, or that they have canceled them, even though they could have been something that really brought in money, you know, so on and so forth. And so, as you can already see in this one picture that I've posted, there's a bunch of different backs to games. Now, I posted that because those are all Wizards of the Coast games that have failed, that are card games. They have had other things fail, or, you know, or they have uh, properties too, but this one is just about card games. <coughs> so I'm kind of going to go through them and talk about which ones could still be redeemed, you know, like which ones they could have kept around if they had decided to. You know, if they had put something, uh, put more effort into them instead of just focusing 100% on magic, which is basically what they do. I mean, I know it's the biggest game in the world, but when you make other card games, you should, you know, give at least close to an equal amount of focus. <sighs> now that we have that out of the way, let's start. So, going from the top left, uh, we have the WCW Nitro Trading Card Game. This was a bad start anyways, because around the time that this was made, WCW was getting ready to go under and to be bought. So, was this one that could be redeemed for modern play? No. Was it a good game in the first place? No. You can go on YouTube and uh, somebody has done a how to play, and it does not play well. Not only does it not play well, the cards weren't visually good looking uh it just was a poor choice all around and then not to mention you know i think it was either at that time or a few years later that raw deal came out which is the wwf card game slash wwe and it turned you know wrestling card games upside down because we had never had a good one so next thing is one that i had learned about recently called star sisters it's under it um what is the premise of the game? I don't know, because finding information on it is, like, next to impossible. And all I know is that it's Wizards of the Coast. And that's about it. So, you know, it's probably some kind of... Being a girl game, it's probably something about shopping or something like that. That's the unfortunate truth of girl-based card games, so... Below that is the Arc System, which is comprised of C-23, Hercules, and Xena. Now, Hercules and Xena, I don't think could have been redeemed because that's such a 90s thing. But C-23, could, could they have kept that around? Probably. Um, it eventually would have been cancelled, but it could have definitely lasted longer than what it did. But here's the thing. Like, it would... Like, after Hercules and Xena left, they would have to change the way that it's played almost entirely because it's so it's so minimalistic, it's not even funny. Like, it's like Duel Masters is supposed to be an easy way to play um, magic, in a sense, but this is just, like, even below that, it's just unreal. So, um, it might have worked a little bit longer just because of the art style and all of that, and I think it could have been profitable. Next thing is Vampire slash Jihad. Take the role of a vampire. I mean, it had dark, gritty art. Um, to me, I think it's a little bit, it's darker and grittier than a lot of magic art. And just the context of everything, the context of the game and all of that. I think it's a great game. Could it have survived? Yes, totally. It could still be, you know, around today. I have no doubt in my mind that it could still be profitable if someone were to bring it back. Like if, if uh, kind of like the Netrunner situation where Fantasy Flight does Net, uh, Netrunner now, even though it was made by Richard Garfield, I still think Vampire could be profitable if someone were to purchase the rights to use it, you know, not be the, the parent owner of the, of the, the game, but to create a new rendition now, I think it could work. So, totally. That's, that one is redeemable. Under it is Hecatum. Hecatum is very interesting. It's considered a card game, but it's these, uh, these tiles. But, once again, it's considered a card game, so I put it on this list. Could Hecatum be redeemed? Yes. Hecatum could have been saved. I think it would have eventually uh, gone under, 
but it definitely could have lasted a lot longer than what Wizards did with it. <coughs> it was very interesting, it was very different from everything else on the market. Uh, it still has a following today, just like Vampire and Jihad have a following. So, I mean, it definitely could have survived much longer. Anyone that says otherwise, you know, I don't think they they know Hecatomb very well. Uh, it has a pretty good community. Not as good as Vampire, but still good nonetheless. Netrunner is below it. Um, Netrunner is a, uh, a fantastic game. You know, um, hacker against the corporation, basically. A cyberpunk game, and there's not too many of those. Um, there's a new one that just came out that I, well, that I just saw stuff on called Megacorps. And uh, it's very interesting as well, and it, I feel like it's Netrunner inspired. Could Wizards have kept Netrunner going? Yes. Um, but as you all know, Fantasy Flight Games owns Netrunner, and they do awesome with it. They're constantly having like big tournaments for it and things like that, and giving money away for for winning. So, yeah, Wizards, you dropped the ball on that one, too. That's three in a row that I can think of that you dropped the ball on. Um, C23, I know I said that one could have stayed, but it wasn't. It wouldn't have brought in like tons of money, unlike these three. These three would have lasted. Next one is Kids Next Door trading card game. Based on the television show with the five kids in the group and to fight adults, so on and so forth. Uh, this is real simple, because no, it wouldn't last. Why? Because it's a temporary... Um, property because the show eventually went off the air. So once it's off the air, you're kind of done. You you really can't do much with it. It's not like Dragon Ball Z where you can constantly make stuff for it because it still has popularity. Kids Next Door, while it does have its own little following, um, not enough to maintain a game. It's not relevant enough. Okay, so the next row over, we have NFL Showdown, MLB Showdown, and NBA Showdown. I'm lumping them all together because they all play the same. It's just different properties in itself. You know, it's NFL, MLB, NBA. Wow. So, um, you know, it's like playing the sport, and if you, if you know the basics of the sports, you'll know how the game is basically going to work. Now, as far as keeping it alive, I don't think it can. I, there's never really been very successful sports card games. There's been a few, like Topps does the Attacks games, but those are garbage. We had Gridiron Fantasy um, card game, and Street Pros was another. But nothing has touched the Showdown series. So, <clears throat> I don't think Showdown would have worked, because I don't think it would have had enough interest to keep going by years. Because, it, you know, it'll have uh, NBA Showdown 2002 and then 2003, and the same with the other ones. So, I don't think it would have garnished enough interest to keep going but it was interesting nonetheless because they are the best sports card games you can buy and then under that is football champions it's a soccer card game made by wizards i did put that on here although a lot of people don't know it and it was mainly in the uk but it did have a u.s release so football champions is on here it's a soccer card game you know it's if you know the basics of the game, kind of like with the showdowns, then you're kind of going to know how this works. Could this survive? No. No. Um, not in the U.S. The U.S. has seen an increase in popularity in soccer, but not enough to maintain a card game like this. No. Below that are the Transformers 3D Battle card game things. Um, punch them out, put them together. They have a card that's assigned to them. Go back and forth. Could this work? No. Um, things like this just aren't popular anymore. Early 2000s, you know, maybe. But now, uh, no, it, it wouldn't survive. It wouldn't stand a chance. Um, Hero Clicks is even on the decline, and that's about the closest thing that's out to this. So, no, it would not survive. Then the first one below the Transformers is uh, Star Wars. Oh boy, how many renditions of Star Wars card games have there been by companies? You know, Decipher, Wizards, there's been a few games. Um, even Topps had a rendition of the game. 
but you know i i think the decipher one has been the most popular um I'm not saying it's the best but it's it's not bad so if wizards held on to this property and kept going with star wars a trading card game it could totally be profitable i mean we keep getting new movies you know we had episode seven rogue one you know there's lots of opportunity um, so it could totally have been profitable, but you know, I don't know if Disney would want to work with them. That's the thing. I just, I don't know how they would react to it. And the next one is the X-Men trading card game. Would the X-Men one still work today? Uh, not really. Um, you know, people don't want to just play one group of superheroes. They want to play, you know, multiple of them. They want to do Spider-Man or the Incredible Hulk, you know, things like that. The Avengers, since the Avengers are super hot still. They want to do stuff like that. They don't want to just play X-Men. Um, and, you know, it was. I don't think it was that great of a game. It really wasn't, but it wouldn't have survived. And the next thing is Maple Story. Um, I really don't know much about, like, the actual online game, but I did see, I think it was Darium's play the game and it looked interesting it looked like a fun game the problem is is maple story is not as relevant as it used to be um it's kind of just it just it's just kind of fallen out so no it's i don't think it could work now the one below is eye of judgment it was a playstation 3 card game you know show the card on the camera play it down it's on the screen uh, obviously wouldn't be around because PlayStation 3 is obsolete. So, Under that is the Looney Tunes trading card game. Oh, why someone made a Looney Tunes card game, I'll never understand. It's just one of those properties I don't understand why it needed a game, but apparently it had one. Um, would it survive now? No, not even. Not even. Um, below that is Duel Masters. Duel Masters is a fantastic game. Duel Masters was great here in the U.S., but it lost popularity with Yu-Gi-Oh! just absolutely demolishing it here in the U.S. While it is still popular in Japan, um, you know, I don't think Wizards actually owns the rights to Duel Masters when it comes to Japan. I believe another company does. That's what I've read. I don't know if it's 100% true. But nonetheless, Duel Masters here in the States failed. Could it work nowadays? Um, Kaijudo kind of showed that answer, so I'll refer to that in a minute. The next one is Dune, based on the movie. Um, card games based on movies, I'm not particularly a fan of. They have to be done really well. And the Dune card game, I'm, I honestly don't know much about it. I've seen the movie... But I don't mo know much about the game, as I've never come across any, because it's kind of hard to get, and it's super expensive, and I can't afford it. Just straight up can't afford it. <sighs> that being said, could it work today? Not really. Is, do is Dune even relevant anymore? Like, nothing gets Dune. I like the movie, but is it relevant? You know, that's, that's a key factor. Relevancy. Is it relevant? If not, then no, it can't work. If it's somehow still relevant, and I just don't know, because my head is in the sand, then then yeah, it could probably work, maybe. And then below that is the Simpsons card game. That was a weird, <coughs> weird game. It, um, it just, it plays so odd. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't play like other card games. Um, could it work now? No. People aren't going to invest in, that's more like a niche product. People aren't going to invest in that. Just, it just, it won't work. I don't think it was even popular when it was actually active. So, no. Shaolin Showdown, based on the cartoon. The cartoon was a lot of fun. The card game itself was just like doing Duel Masters again, just with a different property. So could it be popular nowadays? No, because Shaolin Showdown is not on television. So, no, there's no relevancy. Below that was is Kaijudo. Kaijudo, once again, is fun. I enjoyed it. You know, I covered a lot of it on the channel. And, um... Could it, could it work today? Yeah, it totally could. 
The problem is, is Wizards of the Coast, Hasbro, whoever you want to point the finger to, because I don't know which one to point the finger to, you know, give them both a middle finger either way, but they didn't do the advertising for it. They just didn't even care about it. They spent all the money to reboot Duel Masters into a show and then to to call it Kaijudo and then move uh, make a game and just not support it. Just no. Just, you don't do that. If you're going to revive a product, you know, why revive it and then do nothing with it? That's so stupid. That's just, that's just throwing money away, literally. But could it work? Yes, totally. Um, it's, you still get new players all the time and the game is dead. <laughs> but yeah. Um, next one, Harry Potter trading card game. I heard this one's really kind of good. Never really played it. Never get anybody to want to play it. Like, I've tried to get people to play, like, the starter deck with me, and they just, they don't want to play it. Like, they like the movies, but they're just like, no, I don't want to play a card game based on it. <laughs> so, um, that's just my luck with it. Could it work nowadays? No, not really. Um, I think Harry Potter's kind of run its course. Unless, you know, the new movie... The Fantastic Beast, or whatever it's called, brings people in and makes them really interested in Harry Potter again. I, otherwise, I don't see it. So, no. Under it is Battletech. It's a bunch of mechs fighting each other. You know, that's pretty awesome. Could something like this work nowadays? Of course. Stuff like that. I, I think Battletech could work in, in any point. Battletech is just a great, a great game. Oh, we are almost there, people. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is a card game. Um, gee. I haven't gotten any games in on this either. Could G.I. Joe be a relevant card game today? Not really. Maybe if they had a new cartoon come out of G.I. Joe and it was super popular, Wizards could definitely do it then. As of right now, no. Um, the movies have tanked, so the movies wouldn't do it any justice on getting people to play, so no. No, not at all. And the last one I'm going to cover is Neopets. So Neopets was that little online game thing with the cute creatures, and they made a card game of it. So things like that, I don't understand why. It's kind of like Free Realms. Free Realms had a card game, too. But do online games need card games? Eve also had one. You know, has there been any successful online game that was a card game? Yeah, World of Warcraft. But other than that, has there been any other ones? No, not really. Maple Story was kind of popular, not really. But other than that, no. Um, could this work nowadays? No. Is Neopets even still a thing anymore? I don't think it is. I could be wrong, but if it is, then no, still. Um, people are so invested in the games now. I don't think they could stray away to something like Neopets or any of these that I listed, ex you know, minus something like Vampire, Hecatomb. You know, those are the two big ones that I could really see bringing people in. Or, um, you know, uh, I think the only other one besides those would be, like, Netrunner, if, if Wizards had it again for some reason. I don't see them doing that, but that could also work. Could Kaijuda work? Not now, at this moment, because, you know, it's worth nothing at this point. Like, booster boxes are worth, like, 20. That's pretty bad. And nobody just has any interest in the game anymore. You know, except for the the new players that learn about it and then come to find out, oh, it's dead. Oh, there goes that. But yeah, those are about the only properties. So this was just to kind of give you an insight on, you know, Wizards of Coast past and just things that they have failed on or they've canceled. Now, I will cover other companies. I just do these for like an, an a uh, information purpose nothing really else not trying to bash wizards you know if it wasn't for them then we wouldn't have tons of card games that we have today so i am actually grateful for that but uh 
anyways guys that's all I wanted to say for this and I'll see you guys next time